You have to explain, you say to what you come about. Like they don't have nowhere to sleep, so the solution is when you come, uh, convert your backpack into a tent, that can, that can go back into, its, into a backpack and then back into a tent for the long ago. And it has a toilet in it. And it's not a thing yet. It can cook water. It works. Another problem is like they don't have nothing to eat. The solution to that is um, a container for free to dry food um, right here on the back pad. And the ref they'll refill it at a local shelter or something like that. Okay. Another problem is that they're scared. And then the solution is um, the way we're going to fix that is because we have a tent that will keep them shelter and all the valuables are at the bottom of their um, sleeping bag so that nobody can take it. Okay. Another problem is the weather. Um, the, the, tent, the tent is weatherproof and it would stay where you set it up. Another problem is they don't have the restroom. Or, or had so that we got a bucket with um we can use for all their waste and throw it out. Okay. What about the purifier for the the water? Okay. They have security and they're not safe out there. The um the back the life pack is self Self-contained, and you can take it anywhere so no one can take it. Okay. So you can take it on the go. And then we're back to this uh, water purifier. The what really it is is the raindrops mm -hmm. and the waste when you go to the toilet goes into this bucket mm -hmm. where it then evaporates and then when it's at the point where it's still evaporating, it goes down through the sides. We have piping, like small silicone, not silicone, plastic piping to the clear H2O. And then they can put that in their food dry and drink it while they're on the go. Okay. Another problem is that they are really uncomfortable during the lake. So that's the inflatable sleeping bag and pillow. Which will be comfortable so we don't have to sleep on the ground. Alright. And that's not really they have no education. Um there and with the life pack, there's an info packet that tells you how to set it up, how to use it. Also tells you where local shelters are, so you can get more food or if you need any more help. And then uh this is like all the steps for putting it up. It's almost the same for putting it back up and it's easy to figure it out. Mm -hmm. I think a kid could do a lot with this because it's almost the size of an army bag, mm -hmm. which a kid can put it onto. Okay. So it works and it's just good and very helpful. Good job, good job, excellent job. I do have some questions though, <laughs> all right? So I think you got some really good ideas about putting all into a backpack and making it portable so you can take it from one place to another. But have you, I know you mentioned pillows and sleeping bags that can be ported. But how are you all planning on porting a toilet, for example? Oh, uh, the way it is, it's, um, it's just a normal bucket, really, and it's pretty small. I mean, it's, and you can wash it out with the and right here, this is like the main bucket that they it's a back collect hole. water, and then this is the part where the water can come out so that it can get purified. And then you can fill it up with this. Uh, so you're trying to jump and use the water uh, from the waste yeah. generated to, to drink about water? Yes. Uh -huh. Okay. So, so is there a is there an energy source? Where is the power going to come from? I mean, obviously, it's going to come from um, for all of these things to work. Yeah. Uh, so this is not. We don't need to use electricity. 
It's just the heat uh, evaporates the the, the water. The heat from the sun. And to get the water, it's just rainwater. Regular rainwater. Uh, it, uh, we have a heat from the sun. It's like a plastic on top. Yeah. And then uh, it's just evaporation, and especially with the plastic, it will make it magnified of the sunlight, so then it can evaporate easier and go. Down. But it doesn't, it doesn't make it too hot in their tent if, no. if you do that? No, no it's going it's to no. place outside yes. of the tent. Yeah, it's always, um, this is the backpack. Yeah, yeah, or while they're walking, while you're walking, that's yeah. when you get the water. Yeah. Well, well, it have, you have it out, the purifier is outside. It's moving the tent. Okay. It's outside it's where the piping okay. is connected. I mean, we, you don't really use it okay. at that time. You just have the buckets. Okay. That. That's good. Um, so in designing this, have you had any challenges? <coughs> have you thought um, about something that's, oh, we can't do this? We were trying to figure out, well, we had trouble trying to figure out um, food. <laughs> and, um, we also and had to transport, the, um, like, how would we be transform, transform, transform this tent? How would we track them? Uh, use it? Um, on the go, the tent. So that was some of our challenges. And uh, our brainstorm was back there, but we already used it. Yeah. Okay. And, this was kind of the um, also. Okay. and then uh, what it is, mm -hmm. is when you pull the string out of here, because you it open the door, you pull the string, the string is the, the, the tent pops up, mm -hmm. and it's one of those unfold the well, like first you put the old, and inside of it is a sleeping bag so that you can inflate. So it yeah. make it easy, makes it easy and quick to deploy. Yes, yeah. yes. Okay. it's small, fast, and not mm -hmm. really that heavy. That's good. Excellent. The, the only time that you would have the most weight is when these are filled up. Yeah. And that's it, and the water. That's the only thing that would weigh the most. That's good. Good work. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.